Hey guys, what's going on? Stokonic here, and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the new leader abilities that are coming out and the start of the new meta for Dokkan Battle. So let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. First off, the leader abilities are Tech, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, uh, Fusion Characters, Key, plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 150% up, or Tech, Type, Key, plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 50% up. Omega Shenron is, or the physical Omega Shenron is, leader ability of Super, or Shadow Dragons, are Key, plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 150% up, or physical type, Key, plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 50% up. Now, off the bat, these do not stack. At this point in the game, we do not; these guys will not stack. Only based off of the uh, length, the, the base stats of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the actual attack animation that happened in the Super Attack. Now, this isn't going to be a full card review. This is more of a discussion video, so I'm not going to be going over all their stats. But based off of this, we know that the the, the two different abilities and the leader ability do not stack together. Um, it takes into consideration the first part, the category. If you are not part of the category, then it goes to the attribute type. If you're not part of the attribute, you don't get a buff. Now, in terms of the fusions, fusion characters, if you guys aren't aware, do not include, at least at this time, Patara fusion. The reason why we know this is because in-game, there's a lot of images that were taken from in-game that show that there was no categories added to Super Vegito or Super Vegito Blue. Um, there was on Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, so it's for finger fusions only. Uh, personally, I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of cool. I kind of like that. But at the same time, that just means that uh, there's going to be less characters or less OP characters available for the finger fusions team. Um, that, that, that means the, the actual fusion banner cards are available for use, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the fact that the fusion characters are that means they all share a common link skill. Um, same thing with Omega Shenron, that means Shadow Dragons, uh, it's either going to be GT, because everyone's going to have GT or should have GT at that point, and if you're going to be running the Shadow Dragons, I mean Omega and Sin Shenron are the first two I think about, then you have Ice Shenron if you need to run them, um, or any of the others. There, there are a whole bunch of Shadow Dragons, but personally I think Shin and Omega are going to be the only two. Um, that's cool. I like it. I kind of like this meta because it allows a lot more diversity in the types of teams that you're going to run. Uh, there's two different mentalities that I've been seeing. Super hype because of the, the, the variety, the versatility of the teams that you can now create. Uh, and then there's a little bit of uh, skepticism and fear and anger because they are mincing the characters and everything into a point uh, that, you know, they're you know, essentially trying to take the game, Bandai's trying to take the game for what it's worth. Uh, they're trying to make as much money as they can because they ran out of ideas for, for leader abilities because they worked the game into a point where they have to increase their leader abilities and everything's focused on the leader skills. Now, I get both points of view. I personally am happy about this. It's cool. I like it. The thing I really like about this, though, okay, as much as I can understand the fear and the anger about them creating this new meta that is mincing and dicing the, the cards into these very, very tight-niched uh, groups, is is that 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 they're not OP right now? Look at it. Shadow Dragons Arc GT are technically also it, it's 150 percent up. But look at the characters that are actually available. None of them are by not a lot of them are OP. I mean, so technically yes, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is in with the Omega. So you're gonna want Omega and you're gonna want the Gogeta because Omega is gonna include Gogeta and those two characters alone are gonna be freaking nuts. Um, I believe the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta was also there, so you're gonna be able to pair Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Vegeta, uh, the two of them will link up like crazy, you know that. And then you have Omega Shenron, and you're going to have Sin Shenron, the two of them that are going to be there. Plus, uh, apparently Sin Shenron has an AGL counterpart. We don't know if it's going to be an event-specific card, or if it's going to be a summonable unit, but that means his super attack is going to be farmable or semi-farmable. That's awesome, and I mean, technically this one is also cool too. We get the physical SR Super Saiyan 2 Kid Goku GT. Uh, if he is farmable through an event, awesome. That means you're going to be able to grind up the other physical Super Saiyan 2 SSR Kid Goku from GT if you happen to have him. Um, if not, he still can into Super Saiyan 3 on a physical type, so that's going to be cool on a Super Saiyan 3 uh, physical Gotenks team if you want to run him on that. But anyway, uh, I, I personally like the meta. I like, kind of like where it's going. My, my initial thought was they need to do one for Bardock team. They need to do a team Bardock meta. I think that would be phenomenal. Uh, but that's just me. I like Team Bardock. I think that would be cool. You know, I also thought of the androids because there's so many different androids in game. Having a 150 android team 
um, with like Super 17, Android 17, Android 18, Android 13, uh, Super 17, obviously. It, th that would just be freaking awesome. Then you have the other smaller Androids that would be cool to run. There's a lot of different arcs that they could do. They could do a Dragon Ball, well, not just specific to Dragon Ball series itself. I think that would be foolish if they were to do that and not divide Dragon Ball up into their different arcs. Um, but that would be awesome. Uh, then they have the GT arcs that they go to. They have the Super arcs that they could go to. So this divides the game up for at least new content for another year and a half. In my opinion, they could do it for another year and a half. Unless they're stupid with it, unless Bandai's really dumb with it, and just releases it like they were doing on the JP side. Every every couple of weeks, they released a new arc, a new meta, a new meta. Um, at that point, everyone, and very rightfully so, can feel like they're Bandai's just trying to milk us for our money and not actually care about the player base. But... In terms of teams, so far, I, I'm not going to go over into a team building guide on this because uh, there's not enough information out. Things can change. Just for instance, the fusion characters, just because it says finger fusions, it does not mean necessarily that if the game comes back up after going down for maintenance, that the, the, the Patara fusion characters will not be part of that. I think that would be a little bit OP if that was the case, but who knows? I mean, there's not official information as of this time. Um, it's currently one o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be going to bed soon, so that way I can wake up early and get you all the global information. I'm probably going to, you know, wait a little bit longer, maybe like around eight, nine o'clock in the morning to get you to start recording your videos. So that will come up around 10 o'clock in the morning for you. Um, so that way I can have that information out about what's going on. But uh, personally, I, I, I'm leaning towards more being happy about this. I like the diversity. This also brings into consideration or brings up if the fact that we're getting this, does that mean we're going to be getting these 150 liters on top of the 120 liters at the same time? I talked to one of my coworkers about this and he didn't like it. He thought it would be moving too fast on the global side. But at the same time, my opinion on the matter is if we're moving forward with this and we're going to be caught up with JP, that means we're finally caught up with JP. You know, that means that the things that come out on JP are also going to come out on global. We don't have to wait that four months for that information. Uh, it's also a smarter move on Bandai because then we know what cards are going to be worth it, what cards aren't going to be worth it. They're going to take that, well, it's smarter for them, not really for us, but it's going to take our ability to know what banners we want to go for and what cards we don't want to go for. It gives us time to analyze. It takes away our time to analyze a full analysis. Um, but I, you know, I, I kind, I kind of like the meta. It also brings into consideration why the link skills are so freaking nuts. I mean, look at all these link skills: over in a flash, shocking speed, uh, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan GT, and Fused Fighter. So overall, obviously, Fused Fusions, Fused Fighter is going to always be there. Um, for other fusions, I mean, uh, let's see, Shocking Speed and Over in a Flash. Those are two other ones that are kind of relevant on a Super Saiyan or on a Fusions team anyway. Specifically, Over in a Flash is, is on a Fusions team. So that's five key right there almost all the time. So having five key almost all the time is going to be nuts. A lot of them have Fierce Battle. So this team is going to link very well. And the same thing with the Omega Shenron. I mean, overall, it's going to be Shadow Dragon, so everyone's automatically going to have GT. Um, not a lot of them, depending on the character you bring, hero or villain, but I mean, Fear and Faith and Shadow Dragons and Fierce Battle. Uh, Fierce Battle is un universal, and it's Shocking Speed is good because the Super Saiyan 4s have Shocking Speed. Um, so that's awesome. Well, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does, and he's a, he, we know he's in the category for it. So he'll at least link well there. But personally, guys, I, I, I like the meta. I like where it's going. I just kind of hope that Bandai doesn't, you know, screw it up to a point where they're going to mince everything down to where no one's going to want to play anymore. I'm really happy about what they're doing. I like the fact that there's a lot of versatility. That means the new the categories now mean that rainbow is going to be a thing almost all the time. It's almost always going to be a rainbow. It depends on the type of characters you have. Uh, you're going to want to have all the good characters, obviously. But as you're playing the game, you're, you should be able to acquire them. Um... I'm going hardcore on the Korra banner myself. I personally like the attributes better. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the attributes for a while, even if I do pull these guys. I will definitely, I mean, if I get both a physical um, Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, let's just say I get both of them, I'm probably going to run the physical Omega Shenron team just because of the type of characters I'm going to be able to run. It's going to be freaking OP and nuts. Um, but I definitely would probably also stick with some attribute types depending on the battles I go into. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of um, negativity and excitement. I, I don't know where you stand. I'm kind of happy with this. I like the fact that they have these link skills that are bridging the gaps between different meta or characters. Uh, bringing in 150 leaders is not breaking the game. Personally, I don't think it's breaking the game because... It's not that far off from the 120 liters, and you don't have super OP units. That's my opinion on the matter, guys. Uh, 
I'm going to be dropping more information in the morning. I was going to stay up tonight, but I want to wake up early so that way I can get you the global information because global is really my primary. Um, we will also find out global may, may get categories. Now, I don't want to say it will. There's a lot to take into consideration. If you guys are IT people and you've been working IT for a long time, you know that going from such um, an early version to such a new version without testing. I mean, they probably did a lot of testing, but uh, doing a major jump like that and then pushing it all out to the end user, it's not always the smoothest transition. Um, we might get a newer version of the game, maybe not the most recent version that JP is on, but if we get categories early, that's a lot more to take into consideration when going through in-game mechanics, which is a lot, like, the, the categories are going to increase certain things, increase certain abilities, um, or may increase certain abilities. I mean, look at the leader skills. If that's taken into consideration, there's a lot more math that needs to get added in. At that point, Bandai might just say, hey, screw it, let's just give them the most recent update. But we'll know that in the future, probably around, I think that global is going to be up around, it's at 5. If this is a major update, it's probably going to go on later than that. I'm probably going to get up at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, at that point, once I record the video, you should have something up by like maybe around 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, going over all that information, but let me know down in the comments below. I, I've been, I took my time to get this up because I want the information. My points of view have changed. And I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, but I'm hyped and I'm upset at the same time. It depends on how Bandai moves forward in the future. Uh, let me know how you feel in the comments below. I will be doing a thorough in-depth card review of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron in the future. Probably late, either on later on tonight if we get the trans, all the translations for their Undoken and their Doken variants. And I'll be doing a completely separate video for the two SRs that are available. But thank you. I appreciate it. Let me know what's going on down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, guys. And I'll catch you guys later.